actually cool. This one has a, a second release stage. That's one of the differences between this and the original e uh, ESQ-1. So it simulates a reverb on some of the sounds. Keyboard on the market with a, a polyphonic aftertouch. If you press the key, if you, oh, you can pressure, double press it. Yeah. Well, yeah, you can double press it, but it'll most yeah, yeah, keyboards it'll trigger. It'll it's either on or off for all the keys. This okay. one individually, you can put pressure. And it was the first. That's why they kind of have a clacky. They're kind of clacky. The keys yeah. are kind of doesn't feel that good, but it has that. It was the first implementation of that technology. So it was a, it was a new thing at the time. Yeah. So you get that. When I, when I press hard, I get that the vibrato comes in. I can do that individually. I just kind of have to get used to controlling it. Yeah, that, that sounds like it's a reverb, but it's a simulated reverb. It's not... Yeah. yeah, it sounds pretty convincing. It's not bad. That, you know, as mm -hmm. if you were playing in an ambient... Uh, Put this against your SID chip, Saj. See which has got more, more guts to it. Yeah, that is so. So you think the battery was actually low? Yeah, it's beating. It. it was low. It was low. That's what it says. It has a little measure on it. So I'm, you know what? That must be the case. Right? Did you try that one? Oh, yeah. Make any difference there? you see it flicker. Yeah. There, look at that. There you go. Told you. So the battery was affected. Try it out. Mm -hmm. So challenge the cartridge works. What? He's like, what did you do? Oh, and this you missed your flight just for this. I know it. <laughs> you were so into it. You're like, fuck the flight. I'm saying. If only that would be true. <laughs> this is the bass sound, man. This is that guy Mike. I went to his house to program. This guy's going crazy. This is the though. bass sound. It's like a, that's like a, that's oh an analog bass, dude. That is, man. Oh, play it some 80. That's the totally 80 sound, man. Well, that is the octave. We need nice. it. Uh, living on video. I don't know. Da, 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 da. <laughs> Hatch your boys. Hatch your boys. What do you think of a song, man? I used to know these. West End. West End Girls. Uh, dun, 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 dun. Yeah. Let me pull up some A's. Let me pull up some A's here. Let's do this right so you get your ear back. Hatch mode. I know a lot of their stuff, man. It's been so long since I've played anything. Oh, here. Spano Ballet. Oh, I don't know. I've never known how to play any of them. So. Uh, uh, play another music. Uh, too Shy? Kajikugu? That doesn't even have a lot of keyboard lines in it, does it? Yeah, yeah. It has a, a bass guitar, right? Yeah. A soft cell? That's this one. That's this one. No, you see the right thing. 
Get the right key. Well, ultra vaults is maybe a little bit more. Well, Vienna. That's ultra Dancing there uh, with tears in my eyes. I never heard that person. Oh, this is 12 inch. Oh, yeah. That's a great song. Yeah, I never heard that version. It's West End. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Yeah, we got some classic, you know? It's an expanded version. That's what did taste some music. Yeah, that's a real remix. Have you got? That's a good one too. You can do the beginning of that one. Two tribes. Never tried. I've heard that song. That's Frankie goes to Hollywood, yeah, right? I, see my yeah. I don't know. I don't know the. Uh...